Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. Uh, right, for the next 30, 30 odd minutes, let's just forget about everything that's going on in the world. Let's uh, enjoy each other's company. I'll have a shave. You guys can watch. If you want to leave a comment, great. Even if you watch for two minutes, that's fine. Let's uh, just forget about what's going on in the world. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, troubles going on in the States and stuff just now, but um, let's just try and focus on uh, this shave Try and stay positive and uh, yeah, let's uh, just enjoy each other's company. So how are you doing? Good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Okay, this is a fancy pants shave. I was tagged by that uh, legend in uh, um, is it Southern California these days, Huntington Beach, Kenny Surfs. Kenny Surfs. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I was tagged by Ken to do a, a fancy pants shave. There's a tag video going about, I think it was Johan at Shaven Butcher that started it, just to use some um, nice gear, not necessarily the most expensive, but uh, just things that you think are uh, kind of relate to a fancy pants shave. Uh, right, so that's what we're going to do. So let's start, uh, let's head down to, uh, there's a couple of the shaving shops in London. Uh, equipment from them that I'm going to use in the shave. So let's start with the Truefit and Hill uh, Ultimate Comfort Pre-Shave Oil. Yeah, this is a this is very expensive. It's I think it's about is it 17 or 18 pounds for this little bottle, but it lasts it lasts forever. You don't need much. Um, so it has the uh, Truefit and Hill uh, embellished on the top there. Established 1805. Yeah, that's not when I bought it. I know I look old, but <laughs> Right, so let's just throw some water on the face a little bit Get the oil I only need a few drops of this and The scent on this is really really nice. Yeah, it's like a citrus peel I like your uh, peeling an orange or a lime, or a other citrus fruit <laughs> I can't think of. Lime, mandarin, satsuma, orange, <laughs> banana. No, right, let's uh, just rub that in. Very good. So a fancy pants shave. Let's uh, just get that from the top. Can you hear Riley growl in there? I've, uh, we got word that our, uh, the dog groomers uh, opening today, so I'm taking him for a haircut. Uh, I might show him at the end of the first pass. <laughs> He's, uh, his hair's really, really long, so uh, that's what I'll be doing today. Right, the brush. Um, I think this is the most expensive brush I have in the den. Uh, Simpsons Chubby 2 in Super Badger. Uh, that's been soaking in the sticky Duffy Pudding Super Soaker. This one's actually made of gold but I've uh, had it redesigned to make it look like plastic. It's actually solid gold, there's good weight to it. Yeah, I'll just uh, tap it on the... Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's been soaking in there. This is a super badger brush. It's a great brush. Simpsons. Legendary. Riley agrees. Riley! Fancy pants shave. Okay. Right, uh, let me show you the, the cream I'm going to be using with that brush. Right, if you've ever been to London, I know some of you have, uh, and you've went in the shaving shops, uh, this particular one I think is my favourite. Uh, it's Taylor of Old Bond Street and this, you smell this as soon as you walk in that shop and it just smells like posh. Uh, <laughs> Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Yeah, here it's here. There's the ingredients, you can pause that if you want. Yeah, so I've uh, had this for quite a while. Comes with a little lid on it like that. I, I don't know if Tops still do these little plastic lids. I, I hope they do. I've not bought one of their soaps or creams for a while. There it is there. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. If anything screams fancy pants, that that is a posh, to me anyway, a posh smell. Right, so that's what I'm going to be using. The razor uh, is a single edge razor uh, made in the States. 
This is the Blackland Vector. Here it is here. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Not the most expensive razor I have in the den. I think you can get this for about, I think it's $195, something like that. I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll put the description of this razor up right now and you can take a look at the description. Right, so there it is there. As I say, it's a single edge razor, three piece. You can take the handle off like that. I put this little washer on, little plastic washer just to protect it. Now you'll see that the thread there is kind of that shape, but it goes into a round hole. How that happens, I do not know. <laughs> right, so here it is here, all beautifully machined. And the blade I've got to put in that is a Kai Captain Titan Pink. Right, so there it is there, it's been used once. Let me put a picture up of the Kai Captain Pink Titan Mild blade dispenser. Now the reason I've done that little picture, <laughs> I've got a lot of these blades and uh, I can't for the life of me find where, they, where I've put them in the shave den. Uh, I was looking through every drawer, I was like, nah, not there. I've maybe kind of stared at them and they're, I seem to remember putting them in a, like a shave mug or something, but I can't find where it is. Anyway, back to this. Right, so here's the, uh, here's the top cap here. So the blade just sits. Like that. Does it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so the blade sits like that. Uh, in between these two posts and the centre post. You then put the base cap on, like that. I'll put a little plastic washer on there. And then you just screw the handle in. And there's the blade there. You see the edge. Like that. All very good, yeah. Really, really nice razor. All stainless steel. Beautifully made. Nice handle. This is just the machine version. You can get it in a polished, which is nice as well. Right, let's get the brush. Uh, horse taking a piss. <laughs> That's it, squeeze that out. Right, I'm just going to take a little bit of the cream, that much, spread that on the brush, just put it into the bristles. Like so, put the rest on my face. A little bit of splash water. Right, let's go. We'll oh, just uh, paint this on just now. You see, that's very dry. Yes, it is very dry. Let me just uh, wipe my hands. Just there. Right, just uh, add some water there, just dip the tips of the brush. Yeah, so how are things where you are? Yeah, I, I noticed on the news a lot of um, rioting and stuff in the States. But um, yeah, there's, um, we're still in. No, we're out of lockdown now. I think. I think. Yeah, we are. We can meet up with uh, one other household. Up to I think it's eight people in Scotland. It's different all over the UK. Right, let's brush. 
brush is great. As is this cream. I just need some water in it now. Yeah, I think I'm um, just dipping the tips of the brush again. I think Paul H was tagged from Ken as well. I've not seen his video, but um, I don't know if Paul has a lot of time to watch videos, so if he's not, if he doesn't know, let him know. This is great. Yeah, just um, everything about it just feels <laughs> luxurious. Look at that. Stunning. That's from a cream. I usually bowl lather with creams, but I thought, right, let's just uh, face lather with it today. Just to see how it is. Right, I'm happy where that lather is. It's on my face, so I'm happy where it is. That brush. Right, let's go with the, the Vector from Blackland in the Fancy Pants Shave. Well that's about four days of growth. That's just, <laughs> let's just mowed that down. Rinse clean. Yeah, the good thing about this razor is it's very thin profile head. You can see it there, look. So it uh, gets under the nose really, really good. And, uh, you need to keep rinsing it regularly because it's a single edge. I don't see many people using these uh, just now. But of all the um, modern razors, I mean, look at how cool is that? Look at that. This is super cool. Right, stay away from that little neck. <laughs> Yeah, this blade feels nice. Just remembering to rinse it regularly. The cream is doing a good job. Nice and slick. The thing with these uh, artist style, artist club style blades, the width is uh, considerably wider than a DE, so this video shouldn't be as long as. <laughs> yeah, who are you trying to kid?
beautiful, really comfortable. Doesn't feel like you're even shaving with a, a blade. Really nice. Right, rinse clean. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the second pass. Feels, <laughs> there's not much left there, but that feels really good. Right, I'll see you when I rinse this off. Riley, Riley, Riley. Hello, hello, baby. Oh, are you having a snooze? Are you just having a little snooze? Are you gonna get your hair cut? Are you gonna get your hair cut? Okay, here we go back for the second pass with the chubby two with the Hobbs sandalwood. Yeah, so a fancy pant shave. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be the most expensive gear that you own uh, or anything like that. Um, I mean, I just, I just love the, the look of this razor. That's why I chose this. Just looks superb. Right, second pass across the growth of the hair. Oh, it's at this side, was it that little cut? <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, no blade overhang on this. Single edge razor. Thank you for all the uh, comments on the last video. I think I'm up to date with most of them. Uh, yeah, some uh, great comments. <laughs> really funny. Interacting with people is great. I love it. I always try and set aside, well, especially the first couple of days when I put a video up. That's usually when most of the comments will come in. Um, I always kind of try and set aside an hour, just in the evening or something like that, just to try and answer them. It's hard work having a YouTube channel, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of comments to answer and questions and stuff and it's good, it's all good, it's all good, we'll never stop. Right, second pass done. Wow! Let me rinse and come back for the third pass. I love, I love this. I love it. Okay, I tell you what, the, I don't remember the Tobbs uh, creams feeling this slick, the residual slickness, but that's, that's quite an old top now, I've had that. I don't know, maybe three years, maybe even four years. And uh, yeah, it still feels really sick. 
sick. <laughs> yeah, it still feels really sick. Are you... Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you feeling a little bit sick? Yes. Why? Because you never use me enough. Okay, I'll use you some more then. Look, I've got it in the brush for you. Mmm, can you smell? It's not sick, it's slick. Yeah, this uh, brush. I was uh, I was talking with someone just through emails. And, uh, he was asking about the uh, the difference in the, the hair of the badger brushes and stuff like that with Simpsons, the chubby twos. And I, I got this as a gift. And whatever your thoughts are on. Uh, badger hair and stuff like that. I'll always have this brush in my den because uh, this was actually a gift from my wife, Mrs. Kevy. She bought it for me. She didn't. She, she didn't know she was buying it for me. <laughs> but, uh, she said, "What do you want for Christmas? Choose something from uh, the gentleman's groom room." So I chose that brush. Uh, so just because Simpsons is an iconic brand in wet shaving. Um, they, they've started doing synthetic brushes now for those that don't like um, badger hair. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll always have that in the den, no matter what. Right, third pass with the vector against the growth. Yeah, the weather here in Scotland, the uh, past few days, over the weekend, has been really, really good. It's really nice uh, sunshine. It kind of gives, you, gives your mood a little lift with everything that's going on in the world. When you wake up in the morning and see the sunshine. Well, it does for me. Yeah, it's just nice. Right, let's get rid of that lather so I'm not tempted to shave over that eye. <laughs> I just thought of something uh, about a Scotsman shaving his eye. Did you shave your eye? Aye. Did you? Aye. Why did you shave your eye? Aye. I don't know. It was itchy. You shaved your eye because it was itchy? Aye. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Kerry's world. Yeah, this is a, this razor, I would say, it's very efficient, but it feels, uh, it doesn't feel mild, it's a, it's a mid-shave, I would say, mid-aggression. Well, it just does a great job. Right, three passes done, let me have a quick rinse, I'll have to feel about it, see if there's anything needing picked up. Yeah, see that residual slickness there is really good. Right, just there. Maybe a bit down here. Right, there's some ladder on the handle here, I'll just get that. Yeah, I was saying to uh, the guy that was asking me about Simpsons Badger brushes. There's a, bit, there's a little bit of a learning curve when you get one of these. You know, there's, there's lots and lots of hairs, uh, badger hairs in those. Uh, sometimes you can add too much water, not enough water to the brush. Um, 
when they when you first get them, breaking them in takes a little bit of time. Uh, they can eat lather, you know. Yeah, they do tend to uh, eat the lather up, but just because there's so many hairs, you've got to watch how much water you put in them to start with. So, like I told them, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, once you get it, once you kind of master how to use them, not master it, but you know what I mean, once you learn how to use them, get used to them, uh, they'll they'll perform great for you. Right, there's a little bit there. That feels incredible. Yeah, just a light touch. Enough slickness there from the cream. It's great, really good. Right, calling it there. <clears throat> right, let's see how much cream is left in this. Yeah, look, see, too much water. Okay, there's enough here for a little face wash. Rub this in, hot and cold water, then we'll see you for the post shave. Can you guess what the post shave might be? You're right. That is a fancy pants shave. I tell you what, it feels absolutely marvellous. Very fancy. <laughs> right, post shave, can you guess? Uh, Taylor Road Bond Street, Sandalwood Aftershave Lotion. Beautiful scent on this. Good glug of that. Oh. A little bit of stink on the neck just here but nothing on the cheeks whoa it takes me right back to the walking into that shop in London and you just get a whiff of this right. uh, and that's it that's the shave I'm not going to put any balm on it feels so good I'm going to finish it though with some just to add to the fancy pantsness of it fancy pantsness uh, Taylor Roll Bond Street sandalwood deodorant stick yeah, this comes like that. There's a little lid on it that, once you twist the bottom, it comes up like that. And I just, uh, I like to just put it on my arms like this. Just, uh, it just gives you a bit of scent. It's not greasy, sticky or anything. There you go. Twist it back down. Put that cap on. Ho 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 ho! Yes! Right, okay, that's the shave. What do you think? Pretty good, pretty good. Feels really good, really close, comfortable. Right, let me show you what we've used. The gold plated sticky toffee pudding super soaker. Uh, well, it's not gold plated, it's actually solid gold, but made to look like black plastic. Um, yeah, I had to remortgage the house to get this, but it's okay. Uh, that's what we started with, that was soaking. The Simpsons Chubby 2 uh, Super Badger. Yeah, you can see my label started to come off again, but well, it's just a little. That makes it uh, uh, authentic. <laughs> that authenticates it. Yeah, uh, Badger brush. Very, very good. That will just hang upside down like that for a, a day. That'll dry. Brilliant brush. The cream was Taylor Roll Bond Street Sandalwood. Superb. Loved it. Great scent. I, I love this cream. Some people don't like it. It brings them out in an allergic reaction, but I don't have any problems with it. And I love the scent. Oh, we started the shave. We started it with the True Fit and Hill Ultimate Comfort Pre-Shave Oil. Very, very good. Very expensive for what it is, but it lasts. I've had this a good couple of years. Look, it's only used that much. Very, very good stuff. Smells like citrus. Great. Uh, brush the razor, the Blackland Vector. 
There is their beautiful, beautiful single edge razor. Yeah, the workmanship in this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, inside that, a second use Kai Captain Pink Titan Mild blade. And it has uh, the washer under there that I've put up, put in the little plastic washer. Um, three passes, pickups, little face wash, uh, post shave, tobs, sandalwood, and finished it with tobs, deodorant stick on the arms. Smells great. Right, that's my fancy pants shave done. Uh, thank you Kenny Surfs. <laughs> I love calling Ken Surfs Kenny Surfs. Um, thank you very much for the tag. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Paul H, what he comes up with. He's got some excellent, excellent gear. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to tag anybody because it's been doing the rounds now for quite a while. I'm quite late to the party with this uh, shave. But there you go. Uh, it's good to get involved. It's good to join in the, the YouTube community spirit with these tag videos and stuff. Um, some people don't like doing them, but I enjoy doing them. It's, uh, it's good to be part of this community. It's very good, actually. Uh, I've got some great things coming up that I'm, I need to do a couple of mail call videos actually, just uh, some stuff that I've been sent from a couple of guys in the States, uh, some really generous things. So I need to do that, but uh, I will get that done. But until then, uh, that's all for today. I've really enjoyed this. Really, really close shave. Very comfortable. Um, yeah, so stay safe and uh, try not to worry too much about what's going on in the world. Um, it will pass. Time is a, a great thing. As time goes on, things things will ease and get better. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> he says uh, optimistically. But um, yeah, just stay safe and uh, look after loved ones. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Until then, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. See ya.